I'm Elise White and I am one of the crew members of the White Sisters Historic Endurance Rally Crew. I got interested in rallying uh, from my father. He taught, well he didn't teach me, but, but he took me out in the car uh, and showed me a few handbrake turns and things and from that I wanted to do it myself. Uh, my sister more so because she was older and she knew more about it all but I definitely wanted to get involved too. It's a bit of competition between us, I think. <laughs> I've learned how to do handbrake turns, uh, to slide the car, and also left foot braking. Left foot braking is when you're uh, going around a corner and you've got to keep the acceleration going, but using the brakes. Yes! Yeah! 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 That's it! Much yet. <laughs> okay, I get it. I'm Saren and I'm one of the rally drivers, part of the White Sisters Rally Crew. I'm John Devonport. I'm the rally instructor for Bill Gwynn International Rally School. And uh, I've drawn the short straw to teach these girls today. I think a couple of things made us come here today. Uh, one was my dad was a rally driver and he actually came to this very rally school when he was driving and uh, when it first opened he was here. And, uh, and the other thing I think is that we, when we're on the tests in the rallies we do, we're very slow and, and very controlled and you see all these other cars going for it and, and they do the tests in 30, 40 seconds and we come out with one minute. <laughs> so we really wanted to just improve our, our times and our performance uh, and we hope that hopefully today would, would do that for us. As an actress, uh, this is going to help me because it's an extra string to my bow. It, it brings more to the table. So if someone's looking for a female that can rally drive, well, here I am. I, I can do the left foot braking. I can show a few skills. So hopefully that'll bring me a better career, more prosperous career. Could you give us a rundown on how Elise and I have done today? The truth? Yes, please. Or just what you want to hear? <laughs> no, the truth. No, you've done, you've done really well. Considering where you started from, um, you came here quite nervous because the last time out you managed to hit a tree in a mini. <laughs> and, uh, and you've come along pretty well. And that, that last session where I've got you both doing left foot braking is something that I would not normally do on the first day. So it gives you an idea. You've, you've got a fair few techniques now and you can start adding speed to those now and start using, using them. There are a, a, a few of the small ones, but I wouldn't teach you those until you've got a lot more speed and momentum to, to make them work. So I'm really pleased with what you've done. I'm sure you're pleased. Oh, absolutely. It's been absolutely amazing. And just learning all the different <coughs> techniques, it's fantastic and the thrill of doing a handbrake turn, finally, yeah. after seven years of driving. Yeah. It's good fun though, isn't it? <laughs> oh God, yes. <laughs> and my last question is, we're obviously a female rally crew, and we'd like to know, you've been in the industry a long time, do you get many female crews, and, and what do you think there of women in motorsports? There aren't many female crews, but I will, will say something. The female people that we get at a rally school, and it's not just me, I've, other rally instructors have said the same, the females are very often better than the males. I'm telling you the <laughs> truth. And I think it's because the males arrive assuming they can do it. Mm. Then when they can't, they realise they can't, they tend to lose a bit of interest and have to, we have to build them back up again. The women arrive thinking, I can't do this. And then they realise they might be able to. Then they get out of the car after the first session and get back in again on the second session. Mm. And they've thought about it while they're out. And they're actually better. My goals in rallying, I would say, 
uh, would be to be just as good as the boys. I, I don't think there should be this gap. There should be an opportunity for everyone to have a go and win. Why not? Why can't we win?